And a very good morning to all our pool fans joining us from around the world. Welcome to the Rio here in beautiful Las Vegas. It is the Las Vegas Open 10 ball, one of the Predator Pro Billiard Series events. And we're kicking things off here in the main stage. I'm Jim White, coming to you actually from Toronto. And uh, hopefully I'm being joined by Mark White all the way from Thailand. Mark, are you there? Yeah, so what do you come? Welcome. Uh, everybody from around the world, and I'm really around the world, all the way over in Thailand, but I've got up nice and early for this one, Jim. I cannot wait. What a way to kick things off. Skylar Woodward, one of the, the home favourites, of course, against the man from Iran, Sina. So, Belize Day. The lag one. Yes, it's, uh, it's going to be a good one, Mark. And uh, we, we chatted. We had a chance to chat a little earlier just leading up to this match. And... I was a little surprised that Skyler wasn't one of the seeded players, but he doesn't play in very many of the Predator Pro Billiard Series events, does he? So that main reason that he's got to play one round to get to the seeded players. Yeah, he. this is the third time that he's played this particular event, but it's the only one that he has played. So here we go then, two races to four. We're playing 10 ball, no golden breaks, but there are early 10s available straight after the break now then how's it looking james looking around oh well, yeah nothing down so again he didn't hit those nearly as hard as he's capable of but have a chance here if cinda decides he wants to try and bank this one into the corner that he's cue yeah, he's just called it and ball call shot so cue ball is going to be tracking down towards the two you said nothing down. The only thing down was Sky sitting down after that dry one. And as you say, this is a nice chance. And the pockets are going to play just a little bit big. Brand new cloth, of course, on these Predator Apex tables. We're playing on the Arcadia cloth with the Arcos balls. Looking very smart. All in black there. Yeah, and I'm not sure whether this three passes to the same corner that he wants to play this to. It doesn't look like it there. Oh, that's well wide, Jim. So a little yeah, early again, nurse. Trying to, spin the, trying to spin the cue ball mark and increases the, the degree of difficulty. It didn't allow for the deflection very well there. But he hasn't left yeah, that inside spin. Side. It's that inside spin, isn't it, Jim, that always catches the players out early on, on day one on these brand new cloths. Sky crashing that one into the side. So both players had their chances. Can Sky take his? Yeah, that was a better shot than it looked. He was hampered queuing right over the 10. Knocked that two in and he's having a look. It didn't look like this three went, but maybe just the top half of that corner pocket. I think he likes this. Yes, put the extension on his Q tech. Nicely done. Yeah, it doesn't and like again, it, just Jim. Fast. A little further than he would have liked with the cue ball. Skim off the 10. Oh, skimmed off the 6. Now then. Wow. Oh, 
can't see the five. Had a little misjudgment here from Woodward. He's looking for a full contact. Dunks. I think he'll be pleased he didn't scratch there, Jim. He got very close to that corner pocket, cutting that six into the, sorry, the four into the side. Now this does go past the eight. She stayed nice and still there, Mark. Almost always a formula for success. And he's got this first rack by the throat. And again, always nerves the early stages of any match, especially when you're playing the $100,000 prize fund, 30,000 to the eventual winner here. So there's a lot at stake. Looks pretty cool. And it's a very, very big 10 days ahead here in Sin City and Sin Up. Looking to get day one off the winning rack. Yeah, five events, Mark. We've got the men's and ladies Las Vegas Open, the Apex Mixed Doubles. Very much looking forward to that, aren't we? And then it climaxes with the World Ten Ball men's and ladies. It's going to be yeah, a this feast. Is fabulous. Cool. Oh, isn't it? A feast on the felt under the Rio roof. Well, the first rack to Valiza Day. And it was a little mixed emotions, really, for him. He had a couple shots, and I mean, it was really more of what Skyler failed to produce. Still. Score sheet never really says how, just who. He'll take that opening rack. And again, a race to four. Race to two sets. And if it goes 1-1, well, then we're treated to the shootout. We certainly have seen our share of shootouts. A very unique format PBS brings to the four. Yeah, and it's... Uh... It's absolute entertainment, of course, for the viewers. It's pure torture for the players, as we see our referee. Now, one slight change this year, James. All of the referees are EPBF from the Euro Tour come over to do all the refereeing. We'll see if Sinna can put a good break together. String something together here. Oh, Low into the side. Good control going. of that white. What do you do here, Jim? Do you cut this two ball in or are you banking it? Yeah, if you cut it in, cue ball's going into the eight and no guarantee for position. Nice Bank. to see some early morning fans. Maybe even just try and trundle in behind the eight ball. Yeah, that's what he's opted for. Just keep the handcuffs on Sky here. This is a pretty easy hit. Sky may be able to hit this and stick that cue ball behind the eight. No, he's he's going off three cushions trying to contact this, and he's called that side pocket for the two. It's a big ball. It's near the cushion like this. Oh, has he got cover behind the five? We'll soon see. Well, I think he hasn't. No, this He's is looking on. for a fuller hit on that too, and this is definitely available. And he's hoping that the three doesn't pass the seven into the bottom corner. Thirty-second shot Something clock, just... in effect here, and I, I think what he did is he just called for the extension. 
each player allowed one 30 second extension per rack. He wants to have another look at this. He's got some angle on this. He can try and get right behind that three. He's going for the early 10, ten Jim. He's going for the jugular. Yep. He's going for the jugular. tell you he looks pretty calm to me mark you look at him if he's nervous he's not showing it he's on yeah, a mission right now and he's got two. woodward under pressure an early 310 and a two nothing advantage he's kind of on a free wheel here isn't he he's here to enjoy himself and you know he's an unknown to a certain extent jim and if he can get a win under his belt who knows what could happen? Give him a lovely bit of confidence. Now, just being told the referee's name is Florian Rettenbacher from Austria. And I did see him in Austria at the, the World 8 Ball earlier on last year. And he is getting these balls racked, ready. And it's winner break, remembers. Well, he's already got Skylar under a bit of pressure. Good break. Put an exclamation point to that. This one's going to be dry. Ball stopped spinning now. Shot clock will begin 60 seconds after the break, of course. And he does have a look at this one. May he call the two here? Or is it just going to be an all out safe? Is he going to try and thin the one ball and come down behind the seven? Get a few options. You take the that two. cue ball over for cover on the right hand side of the table as we look right now. He's more concerned with where the one's going to be going. And again, hampered over the two doesn't make life any easier for him. Yeah, good shot. But did he get the cover, Jim? Yeah, it's close, Mark. Very close. Certainly just over the edge of the impeding ball. He's already Short called the one in out. the corner. He's jumping. Now then, chance with this one ball down the rail. Sixty-four player yeah, field. Tough shot, Mark. Tough shot considering Skyler really hasn't had any table time. Get that back arm loosened up. Oh, what a shot. That was much better than it looked. As tough as it was. Great opening shot. It's kind of his signature, isn't it? Those thin ones. He's well known for those thin cuts. Checking the shot clock. You won't want to lose this one, Sky, because it will be the Lisa Day on the hill if he can take this. Just awkward, Jim, isn't it? Yeah, it's status quo sky right now because he'd like to get a real nice easy lay just to get that back arm moving Oh, good effort to try and dislodge the oh, three where's, where's the, the cue ball? ball it's in it's in the drink unlucky almost made it loads of right hand spin on the cue ball almost flicked it out 
And well, it's very unfortunate, isn't it, to then scratch inside. Some yeah. Ball in hand. Yeah, super unlucky. That was a great effort. Extension. We must not like the three past the six. How deceptive our camera angles are. Looks like there's room. Obviously not. Well, that was a, a different way of going, wasn't it? Uh, played it as a as a shot with the safety in mind as well. He knew if he got it, he would be on the four. He knew if he didn't, he wasn't leaving Sky anything. He had three balls he could plan for cover. Similar shot that he played earlier on, three rails. He's caught that way too thin this time. And only the five getting to a rail and just almost no rail. For those of you looking for any information, latest scores, brackets, schedule, and where to watch, you can go to probilliardseries.com and everything you need to know, guys, is on there. He's got him in trouble again, but this is one of those, if you hit it, you make it. Yeah, but that would be about as well as Sky could ask. But he's got to play it with a bit of speed because he's got to get the cue ball back out for the four. So he can't just try and trundle this in off one cushion. He's got to thump it. And it's not going Skyler Woodward's way right now. Tried to play that Big mark with a little bit of bottom there. and, uh, you know, something that that wasn't going to be easy. But again, he had to play it at speed to get the cue ball back out. Now, what a glorious opportunity for Valiza Day here. It straightened up, didn't it, Jim? When you're digging down on the cue ball, burying it into the rail, it straightened the cue ball up, which is why he hit the six. Just a little bit exactly of misjudgment. Right. And it's, it's got to come with one here, though. Just to remind you guys, it's not the best of three sets. In the first part of the tournament it's two sets and then if we're one set all we go directly to a shootout so it's not best of three sets to start another tricky shot here on the five Said it before. Another rack. Looks like going to the Iranian. Nothing short of a glaring mistake is going to cost him this rack. This guy just hasn't got going at the moment. It's never he easy. He really had too much to go at. Yeah, you come into Las Vegas and you got to try and keep your business cap on at all times. You're here to play, but yeah, it's a city with a lot of a lot of distractions. I think it's fair to say, Mark. Yeah, a lot of temptations is the word I was going to use there. It's uh, so much going on. It it really is. 
a great, great city, unlike any other. Yeah, three nothing. It's going to be. Start. It's been all one-way traffic. We'll see if Skyler Woodward can try and stem the tide here. He hasn't given us anything from which to believe that he can mount a comeback. He hasn't had many chances in fairness, but you can't start hanging your shoulders just yet. Lots to play for. Funny too, we saw Cinna yeah. practicing the shootout, shootout spot shot, didn't we, Mark? At the start, we thought, well, he's hoping he gets it to a, a shootout, I think, against the much favored Skylar Woodward. Well, if he wins the first set, shootout will be the worst he's going to see. Maybe it'll be Skylar right now, hoping he gets to a shootout. More people entering the arena. First day here in Las Vegas. The men's Las Vegas Open, the Puerto Rico, runs the Puerto Rico Open. First Let's real opportunity again. for Sky. Yeah, but now the ball's balls are nicely placed for Sky to get that back arm oiled. Cue ball. The Sky 2018-2019 Moscone Cup winner and MVP. You know all about the Moscone Cup, Jim. You spent most of your life commentating on that event. Oh, and this is a gone wrong straight away. What's he done there? Yeah, I think, Mark, that is nothing more than a byproduct of uh, no table time. It's a horrible positional effort from Skyler Woodward. No excuses. Well, he's hit it, but that's about all. Options once again can cut this in. Not sure if the bank's on, but he's misjudged that slightly. Meant to hit it on the way down, was trying to make it in the corner. And referee Florian taking back the rest. I wonder, will he jump this one, Jim? Paul ordered the jump. I think he's looking at the cushion. Yeah, I think he's looking at the side cushion. I mean, he should be able to hit this with a modicum of mark and keep that cue ball maybe down behind cover. Played it well. Has he got cover? Exactly as played, but as you can see, there's a gap through there, as is often the case when things aren't going well for you. You might be in a bit of trouble here. And you may see the jump cue this time. Yeah, this one he can jump. Yeah, and he's already called the corner the table. Now then, he's had a little bit of a run there, and you can't say he doesn't deserve it, I guess. Yeah, if there's a better jumper away. in this game than Edor Gorse, Mark. I haven't seen him. Yeah. 
Fedor will be here, of course. He's part. Lots of spin on this. Good solid hit, Jim. Again, he's got it safe. Tricky little shot here for Woodward. Got to be careful. He's got to graze it, hasn't he? And try it and get behind the nine. And he's not made it. Now, is that a combo into the side? If it's on, he may take it on. If not, nice safety. Fence is it? And there you see it's on. As he, he held knew the two, the two was ball, back he and has. down the corner pocket. And by cutting this end, that white is going to be heading straight up towards the three. Big, big Teddy mistake. That for one. The drink. From Senna. Caught it too thick, Mark. Needed to keep that cue ball in the middle of the table. And this is the chance that Skyler Woodward has been waiting for. He had a chance there to secure the opening set. Yeah, he caught it just a little bit thick, didn't he? Say, Jim, perfect chance for Sky to get on the board, and who knows? Winner breaks, win a couple more, and he's heel heel. Just a little bit short. From Paducah, from Kentucky. Living these days in Texas, I believe. I know his biggest fan, his mum. Will be watching and little Dax as well. And Ashley, really is a family man these days. Got a table in his home, has been putting the hours in. So you're pretty much giving them no excuses, Mark. No. Well, he secures his first rack. He needed that one. Still 3-1. Desina Elisa Day and Skyler at least off the mark here. With the winter break, we'll see if he can put a few together, put some heat on the Iranian. And he broke dry, didn't he, in the first rack after winning the lag. And it will be Sinna breaking off in set number two because they take it in turns. Skyler broke off first in the first set. Sinat will break off first in the second set and then it's winner breaks from then on. Having a little chat with the guy in the orange pinky shirt look in the, in the foreground there. He stands out, doesn't he? <laughs> this guy knows him. I hope he's not trying to hide, Jim. I hope he's not supposed to be somewhere else, that man in the shirt. He wouldn't be wearing that shirt if he was. <laughs> it's looking pretty dry to me, Jim. Yeah, but no attacking options for Senna either. Just came off the edge of them there, didn't he? Didn't hit them square.
18 tables in use for this Pro Billiard Series Las Vegas Men's Open. The women will start tomorrow as well. Pool fan, this is the place to be, guys, for the next 10 days. Yeah, this time Skyler opting for the extension. Short queue, and he's already nominated the bottom left corner as we look. Watch the cue ball. He called it very thick. successfully completing the escape. And there's no real value in Cena going at this one. Can't possibly get any position to the two, and that's not without saying that this one is far from easy. Safety's not that easy here either. Oh, beautiful. As you mentioned though, Jim, position wasn't easy. Tell you what, he couldn't have cued that any better. And now, I feel like he's going to be forced to play safe on this too. But he's got a lot more safety options now than he had on the one. He's called the two into the corner pocket, but he'll be looking for cover. And it yeah, looks like he's got shot. it. Again, one of those shots that's great if you get it because you know you're on the next ball, but if you don't, first order of business is keeping that cue ball in the tall grass. He's playing very smart as well, Jim, isn't he? He's not taking any undue risks. He's keeping Skylar under the, you know, he's turning the screw, isn't he, on him all the time. And another jump there from Skyler. Almost made it really close. He's suffering. Now is he on the two? He certainly is. He's got a shot at this. Now, will he consider, Jim, going into the, well, he the six and the seven he here? Can, no, he can play this down to the to the corner pocket. He's going to drop onto the four nicely. Just thought a nice little graze off the seven would be nice here. Oh, he, oh, he's grazed the five well, instead. He's got very lucky. Very lucky. Double kiss on the five. And that's left him perfect on the perfect four. On the four. <laughs> Something distracted him right in his backswing there. And again, we're not on site, so I don't know what exactly happened. Maybe a beep on the shot clock got him. This is looking very good, isn't it, for the first set. And as you said earlier, the minimum he can expect then is a shootout. But he'll be looking to win it outright. And six passes into the top left corner. Seven, eight. Well, this is looking very ominous for Skyler Woodward. And... Mark, I think I said to you that uh, you know this should be a pretty one-sided affair. At least one would have thought. Yeah, it's the other way, isn't it? It's one-sided, okay, but not the way we expected it to be. He's 
very steady. I mean, there's no panic. Now he goes around the table as he addresses the cue ball. And again, you'll note that head perfectly still as he delivers that cue through the white. And we have the, the like teams. Complete, complete control of his nerves, Mark, this guy. Yeah, we have the big CSI event going on, singles and teams and all that kind of thing. And one of the greatest names I've ever heard is Iraq, Iran. What a brilliant name that is for a pool team. And it's the Iranian who takes the first set. Four racks to one. I'll tell you what, if I, I would want to be called Iran, Iraq. I like that better than Iran, Iraq, Iran. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he looks solid there. Elise a day. And now, the best guy can hope for is a shootout, Mark. And well, that turns into a bit of a coin toss, doesn't it? Yeah, I can remember last year in this very venue, a young Finnish guy called Riku Rompanen beat Skylar Woodward. 15 year old from Finland in the shootout. And that man there, well, it's his break as well in the second set. And you see the European flag on the sleeve from our EPBF referee Florian. And Skyler will be sick of the sight of European flags, I think, after the, the last Moscone Cup but they'll be doing everything they can to get it back this year in this very, very town. Las Vegas, here we go, set number two. Three ball, oh, close. Let's try Chance again, Jim. Woodward. Nothing down, Mark. They're open. Looking around the table, no friends at the table. Oh, that was a much better shot than it looked. You know, he played that with a lot of right hand spin into that cue ball to keep it on line for the two, and now they're all there. This is all about cue ball control. What a good opening shot from Woodward. Great to watch when he's in full flow, Skylar Woodward. One of my favorites to watch, he really is. Doesn't hang around. Got all the shots. draw this over to the side cushion and back out. Again, he'd like a little angle on this five. Be able to get the cue ball closer to the six. Doesn't look like he's got any. So I'll just try and draw back cool. down where he's holding the cue there. Just down near the ten. Yeah, somewhere near the spot. Doesn't want to be hampered by the 10, of course. It's just about perfect. Very important to get the first rack. It means he can get the break back and he can mount a charge. able to run this rack I think we'll put him in good stead 
He just never really got a chance to get any flow at all. Secure in that opening rack. You no know, has to has to help his waning confidence. Now if he can just find the break. I'd like to park Senna in his chair for a while. Yeah, that man there. I can remember watching him a few years ago and we all like to think, you know, if we could be somebody, who would we like to play like? And I always wanted to play like Sky because I thought he always looks so easy around the table, always looks as if he's enjoying it, no real pressure. And very, very good loser as well. I mean, you'd never know if he's won or lost sometimes when you see him around the venue. Always got time for everyone. Super nice guy, all-American boy. No, Mark, that's a very valid point you make there. I think that's one of the one of the biggest weapons that a lot of the Filipino players have. They just don't carry any baggage with them. Win, lose, they, they move on. And we all know pressure comes from within, and if you don't put that pressure on yourself, you're going to enjoy yourself oh, a lot yeah. more. That is the secret of success. Yeah, cue ball there. that is the worst thing that could have happened. Made the one in the side, Jim, and then the cue ball bouncing off of the top of the rail into the corner pocket. Just when you thought he might have been mounting a comeback, and that goes and happens. Nice easy start, the Iranian. Probably just have to hold the cue ball there, just stop the cue ball where the four is. Don't do too much with the cue ball, leave yourself a decent angle on the five. Perfect. You were saying that Sina lives in America? Yeah, he actually lives in San Diego, I was reading. Oh, he'll have no shortage of tournaments the number. We've actually got the number one Iranian player in Thailand where I am at the moment. I was with him earlier on. The name is Kevin, believe it or not. Very, very good left hand up. Senna has been playing in this match. We're going to take note of where he is in the draw. One of my favorite ever movies is the Thomas Crown Affair. And you may wonder why I'm bringing that up. Well, there's a great song in it called The Sinner Man. And that man is robbing this second rack away. Classy clearance. It's a level and never in trouble, Mark. In this second set. You know, the, no. it, what, what's very noteworthy is just how composed he looks. We were talking about Nothing temperament rushed. and demeanor around the table. He seems to be great around the table, Jim, doesn't he? He looks like nothing's going to phase him. I mean, there's, you know, I always look for nerves to be exposed, and usually that comes in the way of unforced movement. A guy will take an extra trip around the table, just looking at the balls were maybe not necessary. And I, I don't see any indication that Sina Feliza Day is nervous at all. 
He's enjoying himself out there, but having said that, Skyler seems to be as well. He's having a chat with the audience, and he will be playing in the 10 ball also. And you know, this is by no means over yet, and it's also double elimination, so he's got plenty of chances, and he'll have fun. I'm sure Ashley's there. Maybe his dad comes to these events as well. Did like 1 1 here in the second set. Sinner already having secured set number one, so Skyler trying to win the second set to force a shootout. It's almost a repeat of Skyler's break there. Watch the cue ball, Jim, jumping up in the air, hitting that side rail, and then the five ball, kissing it, stopping its journey. No shot on the one, so can push out. That's what he's looking at the area where he's holding the cue now. Always got to be careful though. You don't want to leave your opponent anything of an aggressive nature in terms of a safety. I kind of like where he's looking because there's only the eight ball isn't there up there and they can't get behind that if he pushes there. So it doesn't look like a bad option to me. And again, Mark, you don't want to make it too tough because you just get shot back again. Yeah, it's an art in itself, isn't it? The push out. No wonder, will he give it back? Because nothing really jumps out at me there, Jim. having a good think about this and if you're thinking this long you can't like it it's strange isn't it it's a good push out but it can also be a bad push out depends what Skyler might have had in mind can he get in behind the nine off the left hand side of the one he's called a corner pocket it doesn't look in the corner Seven's in the way, so maybe he's called the seven. Uh, well, that's honest, completely sure wrong. So it turns out a good push out, and I must say I'm surprised he didn't give that back. Really, considering he took so long over it, Jim. And in the end, I really wasn't sure what he was doing. like a miss hit to me. A bit awkward though, these balls. Traveled a bit further with that cue ball than I thought he would here. Yeah, he's shaking his head. He's he's left himself here, and this is tricky. Safety's not easy. I don't see any aggressive options for him. Shot. We can get behind. Idea. Not quite. Yeah, it was a great effort trying to get that cue ball behind the seven, but yeah, just a little short. He's left a chance for Senna. Yeah, it was very creative, though. Just a little short of what would have been perfect. Thank you. 
crucial part of this second set. It's just trying to force that to that middle pocket at an acute angle to speed and it had to be hit perfect. Let's have a look to see if the three will pass the ten. Oh, he's overcut this by it. He's nudged that 10 right up to the 7, though. It's kind of taken the 7 out of play. Oh, very good shot. Let's see if he can... They could pay off with a good attacking safety on this three. Ten ball. Three ball. He's having a look. I don't think the three goes by the seven. If it does, there's a chance he can cut this in. Well, maybe it will go past the seven into that bottom right corner. He was using it as a blocker, Jim, just to open them balls up and play a safety, maybe. Oh, that's a great shot. Nice to have young eyes, eh, Mark? Catch a ball that thin. There wasn't much of it sticking out, but what a good shot that was from Woodward. Is he looking at a possible the ten billiard to the seven to make the ten? Don't think it's on. I think so. I think that's what he was looking at, Jim. Yeah, he's called the ten. Not sure what he called them, maybe not. Very, very scrappy game this. And I've just been told, thank you, Mary, that the young man, Sina, has just won the Iranian National Championships. So the guy can obviously play the game. And that says in the scoreline, doesn't it? Shows in the scoreline, 4-1 the first set. Yeah, more importantly, Mark, second. you can tell that uh, that friend of yours there that he's not the number one player in Iran. Kevin. Yeah, you, you wait. Tell Kevin, well, you Kevin, wait till I'm, I see I've him tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you let him know that he's been pulling, he's been pulling the bag over your head. Straightforward combo. Yeah, and that seven. Yeah, that seven is the insurance policy here for Elisa Day, though. I mean, ideally, this guy would like to try and get that seven in the open. He's got an angle here if he wanted to try and do it right here. I might lose the five, that's all. Oh, it's made it worse, if anything. Yeah, he gave it a shot, didn't he? And it's uh, now. He's got to try and figure out how to play safe where that seven is. Five's at his mercy. Well, could he possibly try and get the cue ball over there? Yes, he could. It was a very tough shot, but he gave it a go. Can he get behind it? Yeah, that's what he's looking at. 
play this with some draw, maybe a little bit of left as well. Seven past the nine, cue ball behind the ten. That's the plan. Referee will be keeping an eye on this one. Oh, that was a great Pretty shot. Good. I mean, it was a very game effort trying to draw from that five over to dislodge the seven. I mean, it was always going to be risky. But he's needed a shot to try and keep Cena at bay. And we'll see if this one can hold him down. This is just the kind of rack, Jim, that Skyler may be needed, you know, because that man there in the picture was very, very fluent and ran away with the first set. So Sky has kind of pegged him back a little bit here. And if he can take the lead in this, he'll be breaking to get on the hill. So by no means is this over. We know Sky Woodward's a fighter. He hasn't come here to lay down. As you said, a much needed rack win, and even the way that he won it. Like Sinna was just asking uh, a referee about a possible break. Let's just talk a little bit, Jim, while referee Florian is racking these balls. Some great tournaments coming up. And the Scotch doubles event, I really am looking forward to that. I mean, there's some fabulous pairs in it. We've got Shane Van Boning pairing up with the Duchess of Doom, Alison Fisher. We've got Kelly Fisher with Alex Kazakis. We have Wei Chu Chen with Ko Pin Yi, Chow Che Yu. He's teaming up with Chang Jung Lin. And then we've got the husband and wife pairing of Pia Filler and Joshua Filler. We've got brother and sister, Jasmine and Albin. We've got Tyler Steyer and wife, Margaret Fefilova. Really is a such a strong field and I'm really looking forward to that tournament, Jim. But what about yourself? Oh, well, I've seen divorces come from mixed doubles events before, Mark. <laughs> well, I actually forgot to mention one couple. They're not, they're not married yet, so they can't quite get a divorce if it all goes wrong. And I recently did an interview with uh, Christina to catch, and she says and she's Fedor really Bosch. looking forward to playing with Fedor. Yeah, what a great team that is as well. So real star-studded. Oh, what a feast that is. Eight teams, it's a one-day event. It's single elimination, and it's going to be very, very entertaining. And we will see won't we? Will there be any divorces after it? Here, have a look stats. at the lay of the land. Statistically, it's uh, it's not surprising to see that Elisa Day's in the lead, is it? If you look at the percentages. I mean, look at the break success for Elisa Day and uh, compare that with Skyler. Yeah, and also, Jim, look at the run-out win percentage. Yeah, no kidding. That's some very telling numbers there. But 2-1 in set number two. Yeah, a little more control with the break that time. No success. already had one qualifying round earlier on which started at 9.30 local time in Vegas. Jeremy Seaman 
went down 2-0 to Sharik Saeed. Earlier on. And we've had a shootout already as well. Paul Song beat American, fellow American Cody Booth 2-1 in a shootout as well. Nicely played, used the eight to hold for position to the three. And it's a little too steep with the angle on this three though. He'd love to be able to use that eight again, but he'd have to hit it full. It's the only way he would hold for position to the four. It's a tricky little shot. The winner of this match, Jim, will play Carlo Biardo. Well, he didn't contact the eight as he hoped. I don't know whether he's got a clear path to this four. If he does, he can count himself lucky. Would you like a little tell piece of good news, camera. Jim? I always want a little piece of good news, Mark. One of your fellow countrymen, Ben Francis, has taken the first set against Guido Gust, uh, Just, sorry, and he's 2-1 up in the second as well. So one of your Canadians is on the way. Yeah, he's a good young player, Ben. He's working at a room in Calgary now. I don't know if your trips to Calgary ever had a chance to head out to the Leather Pocket in the northeast end of the city. That's where Ben's working. I certainly did. I certainly did. I actually commentated on, a, on an event there, which Ben played in the final, I believe. Against who I can't, I can't remember. Well, that was a, a, certainly an error in judgment from Cena and uh, last visit. You know, trying to contact that four ball off the side cushion. I can only think he was trying to pocket it. Thin contact. And this has given Woodward a guilt-edged opportunity here. Everything's open. Take him to the hill in the second set. We could be starting our very first televised match of the 2024. Las Vegas men's open with a shootout. Well, Jim, I just mentioned your fellow countryman, Ben Francis, and if he does win that match, he will go on to play the defending champion, Viktor Zelensky from Poland. Doesn't get any easier, does it? Yeah, it's just a parade of champions that have made their way to Sin City. 3-1. Confirmed. Woodward. No break for the last time in this in this match. Hoping to close it out here and force the shootout. Yeah, Eklen Kachi also in town to defend his World Temple title, which he won here last year, beating. Francisco Sanchez Ruiz in the final now. I remember Jim, yourself and I, we commentated on that fabulous semi-final between 
Sanchez Ruiz and Fedor Gorse. Do you remember that one? What a match sure, that was. Sure do. Yeah, tremendous standard. Again, some statistics for our viewers at home keeping score. Yeah, both struggled, struggled with the break, haven't they? No one with any impressive figures on the break. Sky will be looking to change that now. Oh, he seems happy enough, doesn't he? Nothing doing once again, and look at the well, look at that little cluster there the, the four, the eight, and the nine. Could cause some problems. Although the three is in quite a good position, Jim, to maybe break out that four. No, without a doubt, Mark. And again, assuming the four nine isn't dead set into the corner pocket. We'll certainly find that out, depending on how these players proceed to get to that four. this one ball to run has it gone far enough no it hasn't well, something's tickled his fancy I think he was going for that Jim went all out for it tried to spin it Quite a clever shot, isn't it? Although, can he get through to this? He can, and he can bury that cue ball in behind the four and the eight. Sky is going to be in trouble here. Well, could have been. He gets a tap on the table. He's calling the side pocket. Up one cushion. You need a slight you see him bit of the angle. In that cue ball. Oh, beautiful. But hampered. Yeah, I, I thought he'd play it at a bit more pace, Mark. And um, try and get the cue ball off the side cushion and up towards the two. I think he could have been worried, Jim, about following it in, maybe. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Well, that's a huge rub of the green net. He's going to have to call the eight, isn't he? Oh, he can go straight across, maybe. We've had a few racks like this, Jim, haven't we, that have been very, very tactical. The balls have just tended to go a little bit awkward. Nice close-up of the, the cat. Close-up of his Louis Vuitton belt then as well, I think. ball behind the eight there mark and may pay the price now for not getting it there just judging that one
That's what he thinks of that one. What can I do here? Did he call, what did he call, the, the bank or the eight? The corner bank. Yeah, the bank. Like he was trying to get that two past the 10. Again, that four wedged between the eight and the nine. That's the key ball in this rack. angle on the three isn't it to break out the four eight nine maybe he can do it off of this gym would he risk it cut this down the rail a little bit of inside over and break into them three balls why not why Just not like that good attacking shot this then to win the second set and force a shootout in our very first match of the day. Using the 10 for position to the four. Well. Yeah, classy shot. No one's ever accused Skyler of not having courage, Mark, have they? You're a brave young player. Yeah, that's kind of the the facet of his game that I really love. Always willing to take the shots on. Doesn't shy away, does he? Well, if he played that, that's absolute perfection. And I think he did, you know. The only awkward ball left was the nine. Couldn't get past the six, but that's okay. Cut it in to the side. A bit of low right English on the cue ball. Off that bottom rail to the right. And try and get as straight as possible. Or maybe even play the seven into the side. Let's see how he goes about this. Yeah, just nice and straight on it. That's okay. It's looking like a shootout, Jim. Well, we saw the laser day practicing the shootout earlier, Mark, before the match even started. Skyler didn't. Yeah, and the shot that we did say him practice, saw him practice, it was, he crushed it in, didn't he? A bit like Carlo Biardo does. So here we go. First match of the day. Both players just going to go out and have a quick break. And we'll be back soon, guys, with the shootout. For those of you that haven't seen it before, the 10 is placed on the table where it's racked not on the spot but just about three inches behind where it's actually racked and the players will swap sides i thought the referee was racking the balls for a minute i thought i haven't made a mistake here jim have we no he's just getting them ready to go to the to the ball cleaner so that 10 will be placed white side up where it's racked. Now, whoever won the leg, which was Sky Woodward, he'll have the choice of whether he wants to go first or second and from which side he wants to start. And then you'll see the box that they have to put the cue ball within. Yeah, and it shrinks, Mark, must doesn't make it? If, yep. uh, four innings players, each. Yep. If, if nothing is decided after the first innings, then the box shrinks and 
uh, you can't really get your your hand in a comfortable position. Shot almost twice as tough. Yeah, well, who can forget, Jim? The 10 ball shootout in the final of the World Teams in Puerto Rico back in November. Pia Filler, of course, with the final 10 ball against the Chinese in the final. They took home $120,000. Joshua Filler, Moritz Neuhausen and Pia Filler. Fabulous moment from last year's Puerto Rico event. And that really is a great, beautiful event, isn't it, Jim? Great venue in San Juan. Yeah, spectacular. The convention center there. I mean, the hotel just across. Very short walk back and forth. It's, uh, it's such a popular event, not so much for the climate, but just the friendly nature of the, the island people there. They welcome all the pool players from all over the world. Yeah, not a lot unlike Las Vegas, really, Mark. And uh, when we've gone to Vegas, I mean, they're so welcoming. And don't forget, this uh, this event is in conjunction with all the CSI leagues, all the league play that goes in. It's like rooms full of pool tables and league players from all over. North America making their way to Las Vegas. Great chance for them to watch all these top players and get some autographs, some selfies. Buckle in, folks, because pressure cooker that is the shootout is now on your screens. So Sky Woodward decides to go first. He will start from that side of the table. So then Cena will have to play the same shot, it must go straight in, there's no flukes, it must go straight in. There is a shot clock still being used as well on this, so you can't really take too much time on it. And Sky confidently makes his first shootout shot. Four white boxes, four innings, and then as Jim was saying earlier, if we're still level after that, the cue ball will be going back a diamond. Yeah, but Skyler putting the pressure on Cinda here. He <laughs> He's pretty... He doesn't give the chance to roll off, does he, Mark? And that's exactly how he was playing it before, wasn't it? When he was practicing it, he really crashed it in. And another player that does that is Carlo Biardo. And that is who the winner of this will be playing. No, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. It's Ben Francis or Guido Juist who will be playing Carlo Biardo. My apologies. As we see a beautiful replay of that ball crashing into the back of the pocket. Let's go Skyler over the other side of the table. His second shot. Fighting its way to the bottom of that corner pocket. Definitely not in the throat of the pocket, but found gravity and that's what counted. Well, you mentioned how gutsy Skyler was earlier on. And he's come back from a set down. And now leads in the shootout, pressure still on. Feliza Day. I know, exactly I know one thing. When you're playing a ball one. at that, uh, when you, and when you play a ball at that speed, you better find the middle of the pocket. Oh, 
dead centre, wasn't it? Fabulous shot. No one's blinking yet, James. He's got his camouflage top on. There's no hiding now, though. You've got to come with the shots. The same. I was mentioning Jim. He is a family man now, of course, and he's got another one on the way as well. They announced that they're going to have another baby. I wonder, are we going to see another Woodward in a few years to come? taking up the sport. There you see the ten ball with the white yeah, side up, of... showing the cat. Yes, the way, the, the way they spot it. So you can't really get a look at the target point. And again, neither player blinking. And now it's sudden death. Yeah, and that came about, Jim, because when there was a shootout on the outer tables and the players were setting it up themselves they were kind of lining it up you know with the with the blue stripe on the aiming point but they soon got wise to that the referees and placed it white side up so it's a nice fair shoot to the death Sky's missed his first one. I can confirm, James, that Ben Francis has gone through. Right, two sets to zero. Well, Woodward now in the unenviable position of needing a miss from his opponent. That's the only thing that's going to keep him alive. If this finds the bottom of the pocket, Eliza Day is through. And it does, and it as does. it has in the past, center of the pocket. And Cena Eliza Day through a big, well, a, I've got to say, a confidence building win over Skylar Woodward, an unexpected win over Woodward. And Mark, it, uh, you know, Skyler's going to have to fight his way back now. Can't count him out. Yeah, He's far pretty too much classy like... a player, but that's a, that's a big win for, for Cena, isn't it? Yeah, but he's done it before, you know. He, same thing happened at the same stage last year, I believe, when he lost on a shootout to Riku Rompadon. And same thing's happened again. He's going to have to go through the scenic route, as we say. There's the handshake at the start. And the first set was all the Iranians. Skyler came back with a gutsy performance in the second to force a shootout. And just when you thought he was going to have the perfect four out of four, he missed his shootout shot. And Cena came in and stole the show, and he moves on. Skyler moves sideways. Yeah, very enjoyable. Great way to start. Mark, there'll be a lot more pool coming your way. We certainly hope you've enjoyed it all, folks. From Mark White, I'm Jim White. Again, thank you. And a lot more pool coming your way. See you guys.